Berlin has this thing that uh, you have to be cool, you have to be different, you have to be creative and an uh, extreme version of yourself. Yeah, a little bit too individualistic, but I don't know how to calm down in the city. Nelly and Bayermann told us about the negative sides of living in Berlin. So there are many things that speak against moving here. And here are some of those. What are some things that you say absolutely dislike this about living here in Berlin? Um, well, a lot of people say winter, and I think I have to swim with the stream there. <laughs> um, I like I like the cold, but I don't like how gray it can get here. And then in combination with all this traffic, not public transport, but with all the cars, the city is super oriented towards cars, and I don't get it. Like, I, yeah, I don't know, it bothers me. Um, and then, I don't know, it gets trist and gray, and it feels like the city is kind of two-faced. Like in summer, everyone has so much energy and a smile. And in winter, it gets like the whole mood shifts a little bit. And it really takes a lot of effort trying to push against it. Yeah. And um, one thing I like and hate, dislike or hate, um, I feel like the city is also quite individualistic at times. Individualistic. Yeah, a little bit too individualistic. I used to live in a place, um, Bhutan, that is very, very community oriented. It's like the other extreme, a bit too much. Um, but here, it it feels a bit like the opposite. So also, people can get a little bit flaky, um, whether it's yeah about meeting up or that things get cancelled. And I I like that people can just go with their own rhythm and their own flow. But sometimes I also enjoy having this yeah, commitment to others and just um, going out of your way for others, for this sense of community. So is it more that people oftentimes think about themselves or in what way does this individualism reflect itself? Um, I would say sometimes it feels like everyone is trying to make the maximum out of their Day. So it's like every like quite a lot of people question, okay, is this really the best option I have? Uh-huh. Whether it's dating or day planning or whatever. And then they're like last minute cancellations or changes because this could be a better option. Or let's see if I want to meet because there are like five options that I have to pick from. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 I'm guilty myself. <laughs> the city vibes they also reflect yeah, yeah it's it's also nice you know like being spontaneous in that sense and just doing what you feel like but yeah it it always gives you leaves you a little bit on an on a living on the edge like a bit stressful what are some things that you say i really don't like this about berlin and living here uh, what i really don't like about the city is the weather uh, it's it's rainy and not sunny. Even during summer, we had uh, one month of rain all the time. So it's the thing that I've been struggling with because in my country it's always sunny. And the other thing is that a lot of people come here uh, expecting that uh, they can get by everywhere speaking English. And uh, I also was thought like this and it wasn't true so you have to know German to get by yeah because uh, otherwise you will suffer do you have an example and for this like um, why the, you would need uh, German actually mm-hmm. first thing that comes to mind when I arrived to Berlin I go to grocery store and everything is in German so I have I cannot I cannot find the products I need or I cannot read the uh, ingredients of the mm-hmm. product right and also when looking for apartment uh, when doing some contracts yeah. uh, when maybe maybe i want to learn yoga but uh, all the classes around are in german so yeah the general life here works with german so uh, um, 
you need to get that have that to live easily uh, yeah german is uh, people say that it's not needed but uh, yeah it's not true yeah. okay yeah. is there anything else which was specifically difficult when transitioning to this new place um culture thing and yeah. socializing it's the it's always challenging because when looking for an apartment and finding a job it's a pretty straightforward i would say because you have to follow uh, the steps to do that but socializing is more complicated more like uh, psychological mm -hmm. and, yeah. yeah um could you maybe do you have maybe a reason uh, for why that is that it's more difficult here to socialize to get into the uh, first thing that it could be said uh, it could be attributed to big cities, mm -hmm. big cities, people come, a lot of people around the world and they also go away from the city mm -hmm. and so, and I also, I didn't, like, people don't have this uh, social structures, like communities mm -hmm. um, and so when I arrived, uh, I have, of course, I have job and maybe I, I go to gym and like that's it there's there's no third place that i could go and like socialize right there's no straight uh, straight answer for, for this so i have to always think that how should i how can i do this where i can more meet people uh that yeah. with a pot potential of uh, befriending them yeah. and you also mentioned something to me before about the individuality of the people need to be individual in some aspect could you maybe explain that so when socializing when going out to meet people there's always expectations because uh, berlin has this thing that uh, you have to be cool you have to be different you have to be creative and an uh, extreme version of yourself and sometimes i have this expect like uh, expectation that like i have to be this I have to be a different person than I am right now. It's very anxiety inducing and uh, sometimes I feel that I'm maybe I'm boring, maybe I'm normal. And so, yeah, I start to doubt myself more than like I would doubt myself in my country because, yeah, I, like when, when things are not working as I expect, yeah, I start doubting my like, maybe I don't, I look different. Maybe I, I should change my appearance. Maybe I should yeah maybe i should change maybe i should find some hobbies yeah it's a lot of thinking is going on yeah and in berlin you say there's somehow this expectation from others that you need to be something very extraordinary or something yeah that's true yeah yeah okay but uh, don't change the way you are this is uh, <laughs> before don't let yourself be uh, be guided by these misconceptions right? yeah yeah when you talk about the weather and about it being more gray, did you see a difference here compared to the south of Germany where you grew up? Yeah, actually, yeah, because um, for a fact, um, the south is sunnier. Um, like, yeah, it's just sunnier. You don't like um, here. You have, I feel like you have like weeks of gray, but there it changes more often. At least yeah. where I live. Yeah. Um, and we have a lot of those really snowy, uh, sunny days. Mm -hmm. So, also because I have family that's even more south, so I can escape there. And then you can go snowboarding or something like that, or just sledding. Just gives you a little bit more of the ability to enjoy the winter, yeah. I think. Yeah. Interesting that you say this, because Berlin is actually, in fact, very famous for being a great city, also within Germany. Yeah. Which is interesting <laughs> to see that people always experience it themselves yeah yeah but it's not just the weather like when i think about an example the other day there is this uh, hostel like called the happy no what is it like the happy smiley place it's like right at um Warschauer Straße when you go Jan is that Janowitz Brücke i think so yeah. yeah uh yeah the famous one uh apparently it's like a um a big building that is um, painted completely colorful like like they have smileys and I think Star Wars on it and everything. And now some neighbors suit that it doesn't fit the scenery. So it has to be painted white or gray or whatever. So 
<laughs> it, it's not just the weather that makes the city gray, but it's also sometimes this conformity that I would call, like there's a, a huge pressure to fit into this German culture lifestyle, which is a bit plain sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And right now, is there anything else that you can think of? That I dislike? Yeah. Um, I think it goes slightly hand in hand with what I said before. I think having too many options. <laughs> I uh, I like to do things, but I don't know how to calm down in the city. Like mm, it's, okay, it can be overwhelming. So yeah, okay. definitely overwhelming. Like so many cool things to do, and just not wanting to let down friends when they suggest something cool. But there's only so much energy a person has to. Yeah go to concerts or yeah. Yeah, cultural events. Yeah. Is there anything else negative that you can think of right now? Negative is housing market. Uh -huh. It's a big topic yeah. <clears throat> and the prices are, people say that also Berlin is cheaper. Maybe yeah, it's cheaper than other big cities, mm -hmm. but it's still expensive. Uh, and uh, until I found my like long-term apartment, I used to pay a lot. I applied more than 1,000 apartments in three months. Oh, more than 1,000. Uh, yes, every week, uh, like I would spend all my days uh, looking, applying for apartments because uh, if I like ads go and uh, I have to apply f in the first five minutes, mm -hmm. like if I don't apply it, yeah. it's gone because they already have more than 1,000 yeah. applicants. Yeah. So I have to be the first and I had to ask at my work to be allowed to do that all the time. Uh, yeah, and then I would get uh, four, three or four uh, visits uh, per per week. Okay. Yes, yeah. and yeah, I would I would prepare all the documents, and yeah. in yeah. the end, it worked out. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching until the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching, then please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section what you dislike about living in Berlin or about the city itself. A lot of Berlin content is coming soon, but also check out the content on life in Amsterdam. Soon you will also find videos about life in Prague on this channel, so make sure to subscribe to support me on my journey of showing life in different European cities. And I hope to see you in the next video.